California, Ted Chabazinski, survivor of forced electroshock at the age of six, 35 years of activism. Woo! And Kate. She needs others. And Martin. Come on over, people who want to be part of the Normathon. Everybody's invited. Sky, come on over. Be part of the Normathon. David Zupin. Welcome to the Normathon. In a few minutes here, we're going to have a worship ceremony for the big giant tell. Jan, you wanted to know about Mind Freedom? Mind Freedom is a... Uh, is us? Okay, what? Wait, what? Mind Freedom! Mind Freedom! Woo! Mind Freedom! Yeah! Mind freedom. Okay, what is Mind Freedom? Mind Freedom is a non-profit uh, uniting about a hundred grassroots groups for human rights and the mental health system. We're part of the Psychiatric Survivors Movement that got started here in 1970 in Oregon. And we, uh, we're working for a nonviolent revolution in the mental health system. We're saying that there's something seriously wrong with what's called normality. Have you noticed that it's wrecking the planetary fabric? It's wrecking the ecosystem. So we're here to have a normathon and uh, to challenge normality, challenge the uh, the suppression of youth, especially with psychiatric drugging. Folks like, uh, where's Martin? Right there. There, there's Martin. He was put on psychiatric drugs. Or Chrissy, where's Chrissy? Right here. Chrissy, a youth was put on psychiatric drugs. And we're here to say that there's something wrong with that. I want to introduce Ron Unger, who's going to start us off on the Normathon. Do you have another question, Jan? Yes. What is what is your criticism of the Oregon State Hospital? Oh, okay, I'll mention it. Is that the, the, the state of Oregon has found a half a billion dollars for new psychiatric institutions, but could not find one dime to support the voice of mental health consumers and psychiatric survivors. So all this money is going into new institutions when they haven't even had a dime to support uh, support real change and empowerment and self-determination by mental health clients. What, what, would, what would the movement do with that money or push to have done with that money? The first step is voice, to get a voice for people who have been through the mental health system, to hear from people who have been on the sharp end of the needle of the mental health system, uh, and hear that, that what's happening, the massive drugging of kids, electroshock, labeling, that this is proof that what's called normality is irrational. When you drug a three-year-old, when you drug a two-year-old, when you put a five-year-old on five different psych drugs, you're proving that what's called normal is irrational. And so we're here to stop that. So let me introduce Ron Unger, who's going to be money? kicking us off. Ron, oh, 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 is a God. courageous mental health oh. worker who's been challenging the psychiatric system. And I want to change the tone here. I want to change the tone. I, I'm a mental health worker, and what I'm here to do is to protest the way that medications are underutilized in our society, vastly underutilized. We're here to increase awareness of the ways that medications could be used to solve all of our personal and emotional problems and social problems. With more frequent pill use and with stronger pills, all of our distress could be erased. All of our distress. Do I have to take the pill that big? <laughs> and we could live together in total unison and harmony. That's what we're here for. That's what we brought the giant pill here for. Now, we're not just for medications. We're also for alternatives to medications. But we think medications are most helpful when they're used in unison. We think alternatives are most helpful when they're used in unison with medications. In fact, we think the best kind of alternatives are the ones that encourage you to take more medications. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Uh, All right, who do you work for? <laughs> so we're, we're going to solve everyone's problems today with the giant pill. All right. But, but we need to have everybody join in to have all these problems happen. We need, all, we need to join in unison. So we're going to start with a, a, an alternative treatment called chanting. To join your voices in harmony. And, 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 and we're going to do a little variation. Lots of you, have, how many have owned before? How many have ever owned? Okay. Only at home do I own. 
right? But this is a different kind of oming because we're incorporating meditation into the om. So it's going to go. Yeah. Except when it's mental. Celebrate. 